Okay, so this is the start of a tutorial on the Cicada CA AMP DSP software. This software is designed specifically for the AMP DSP 125.4D and the 150.4D DSP. So this is the start page. This is where you start. So you tap it and it takes you to summing. Now you may be summing or may not be summing. You if you're on a Harley, you're probably going to pick two channels, so pick two channel. That means that all the outputs are parallel to the two channel input. Now, before you do anything, don't have the system powered up except for the DSP because you want to save settings before powering up the system. You want to set crossover frequencies because on a motorcycle, you always want to high pass, always 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 because otherwise you will blow up speakers asking a speaker that has a freer resonance of 90 to 110 hertz to do 30 hertz is a really bad idea and yes everybody says who the speakers are full range yeah, well kind of but not really so what you want to do is kick in the high pass for the front channels so if you want if you see down near the bottom, there's grouping 1 and 2, grouping 3 and 4, grouping 5 and 6. So take pick grouping 1 and 2, and we're going to group 1 and 2 together. And you see how it's lit up orange. So now the front two channels, let's assume those are CH654s or CH652s, which are a 6.5-inch coax horn, which has a high FS because it's a pro-type driver. All pro-type drivers have high FS's, freer resonance. So, you can see that we haven't picked any crossovers yet. Let's pick high pass. You notice how it lights up. See that it's 12 dB. Now, I give you 6 to 48 dB. I would never do anything faster than 12, but I give you the option. Sometimes you may want to do it really fast because you have a lot of power. But below that, you see I've collect, picked 12 dB and 20 hertz. Now, what you want to do is now change frequency. Now, you can do it by tapping the right arrow, or you can physically tap into the center and tap in. And I would start off with 80 hertz and say, done. And so now you've high passed the front. So now let's go back to the rear channels. And let's say the rear channels are CH694s or CH. 692.2s, which are 6 by 9 4 ohm or 2 ohm. Those we can go a little lo lower. So again, what we do is we pick high pass, 12 dB. And this time, we're going to type in 60 hertz and say done. Okay, so now we've already done all those things. So now what I would do is go to delay gain down at the bottom, the third one. Tap that. And in here is time alignment. Now, the likelihood of you time aligning anything on a motorcycle is highly unlikely. You may time align the rear speakers to the front, okay? But other than that, you're not time aligning left to right and things like that. So let's forget that for right now. Let's just look at gain. Now, notice on gain that under channels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the gains are 0, 0, 0, 0. And notice down at the bottom, there's a slider bar, and that's actually the master gain. And notice it's at 0 dB. Now, I would preset that at minus 6. And I would preset all the channels 1 through 4, because we're only doing a 4 channel for now. But the cool thing is we can hit linked. So tap linked. And now go to any one of them and hit down. And now we're at minus 6. So now we've set levels at minus 6 on every channel and minus 6 on master. That means I still have 12 dB of adjustment I can do after I've preset the gains on the amplifier. So now what we do now is we say save this. See at the top left, save it. And we do advanced. And the password is for right now 6 sixes and we're going to set the settings for 
uh, Larry's first. And that'll be my first setting. And you have unlimited settings. So you can do all kinds of settings and actually listen to them. So that one is set. And what we can do now is download it. Now you see that upper right near the gear, there's a looks like a little box with an arrow in it. That's to download to the DSP. And what that does is that burns it to the DSP. Once that's done, and it takes about a minute, once that's done, now you can preset gains on the amplifier. And I would preset those at, I'm going to use the terms clock, set the high pass gains at 10 o'clock. That means we still have plenty of adjustment depending on how much signal. Now, typically bikes put out 8 to 10 volts. That means you should be able to drive the hell out of the amplifier. So that means the input gain won't be very high. But we're going to start off at 10 o'clock because we can always turn it down or we can always turn it up. Plus, we still have 12 dB of adjustment on our settings built into the DSP. So that's our first shot at setting up DSP.